Today we're gonna to talk about how to absolutely blow your couples away in the first meeting and turn your booking percentage somewhere between 90 and 100%. Taylor Jackson, shooting 67 weddings last year. Taylor Jackson, welcome. So Taylor, you are well known in this community. You're an amazing photographer. I'm gonna start off by saying that usually these videos go on Patreon, but because I'm borrowing and adopting a strategy from someone else um, that I'm gonna talk about in a second, I feel it's a little dishonest to sell that information. What I will be doing for Patreon is uploading an MP3 of a full first meeting phone call that I just had five minutes ago. And in my opinion, phone calls are a lot more challenging than in-person meetings. So let's talk about the strategy. It's pretty simple. It's basically a spin on Ramit Sehi's briefcase strategy. If you're not familiar with that, lots of videos about that, but I'm going to give you pretty much everything you need to know about it here. And it's essentially using an astonishing amount of preparation to close a deal and to really just amaze your couple, remove any fears, any potential objections, and really show your true value and worth. So that's a lot of like grandiose claims. So how do you do this? In the first email with my couple, I asked them for a few basic details. I asked them what time their ceremony's at, what time their reception's at, and if they're interested in doing a first look. And based on these three and only three pieces of information, I can do everything that I'm about to outline here. What you do, is it sounds so simple, it takes a little bit to execute uh, for every first meeting, just but it's such a high value um, potential booking that it's worth it. And what you do is you integrate all your packages into their wedding day. So say you have a 10 hour, an eight hour, and a six hour package. So you plug that 10 hour package into their day. So you say that you would like to get there an hour before the bride gets her dress on and you'd like to be there up until um, first dances and five songs into dancing and that's gonna be a 10 hour day of coverage. And then the option for an eight hour day of coverage maybe looks a little bit more like you show up at the venue, you don't do the getting ready coverage, but you still stay until first dances and a little bit of the party. And then the six hour day, maybe you actually show up for a few getting ready photos and then you ask the couple politely to walk in and do their first dance um, before they sit down for dinner so that you're able to capture that. And then as soon as everyone sits down for dinner, you peace out. So that sounds pretty good to the couple. They're like, wow, we can picture you inside our day. But then it gets so much better. The next page of the document is going to be tips for getting married at the venue that they're getting married at. If you've shot there before, include sample photos, things that went really well with the timeline, things that you could tweak, uh, suggestions for them to make their day even more amazing. Then the next page gets even better. Uh, possible first look spots if they're doing a first look or offsite photo locations indexed by distance from their venue or that are exactly along the line of transportation that they're going to be taking from um, the ceremony to the reception. And then the next page is going to go even above and beyond that. And I feel like this is the page that just like, that couples are already pretty booked and then they see this page and they are just 100% sold, that it is your full rain plan, inclement weather um, options for the day. So some restaurants nearby that you can shoot inside, some indoor spaces in case it's raining or windy or really cold. And just show that you are aware of that and in control of that and you've already come up with solutions to solve any potential problems they might have on their wedding day. And it keeps going. The next page is my favorite local hotels for people to actually get ready in that they're the most photogenic, the nicest walls that bounce the nicest light. Um, and they will just make your getting ready images and videos a lot better. Then a page on maybe the most common question I actually get, what to wear and what to do for an engagement session. So a full page breaking down exactly why you should do one, um, that it relaxes you going into the wedding day, that you've been in front of the camera, we've worked together, there's a level of comfort and a level of confidence in my skills as a photographer that you're going to deliver amazing images so there's no hesitations or unknown nervousness leading into the wedding day. Plus you get photos of you not in wedding attire which are also very useful. And then the next page is a list of things that make my photography life a lot easier. Say things like having all of the getting ready items that um, details, jewelry, shoes, everything in one spot in the getting ready room with good light. Um, you can even put in like your list of like really nice to haves like if you would like um, somebody to actually clean all the, the mirrors so that when you go in and you're getting those getting ready shots of the bride putting her earrings on and things like that, um, that you have clean reflections. This page is really all about just making your life easier so you can do your best photographic work and not worry about all the little details. Now the next page is the one that all of your vendor friends are going to absolutely love you for. It is your list of recommended vendors with a little brief write up of all your vendors, why you like them, when you've worked together, um, and why your couple should hire them. Basically, you're making their decision-making process a lot easier and you're positioning yourself as the expert. So here's why it's a spin on Ramit's briefcase method. Before you talk about pricing and packages in your wedding meeting, 
you reach into your bag and you pull out, um, it's very theatrical, um, you pull out this amazing document that solves all of their problems, calms all their fears, establishes you as a professional, and gives them a lot of really, really, really great, valuable information. Here are the answers to all the questions that they never knew that they had to ask. No other vendor in your city is going to do anything remotely close to this. Maybe they'll bring a pricing document just to show them a generic template that they could have sent over PDF, but you're going to impress them with this amazing package that is going to pretty much plan their entire wedding for them. So that's it, the secret to booking almost every single meeting, being incredibly helpful, making it clear that you know exactly what you're doing, they have nothing to worry about, and they're in good hands. They are about to spend a lot of money on wedding photography, so it's 100% worth it for you to put in the pre-work and relax any fears that they have. Thank you so much to everyone that's joined the Patreon community. There is a lot to come this week. I'm going to be uploading the MP3 of that live meeting that I just had on the phone so you can hear exactly everything that I do in a real first meeting. That will be up later today. And then on Monday, I'm going to be releasing my three tips to actually connecting with wedding planners, starting relationships, and actually getting lots of referrals from them. Then Wednesday, Thursday, I have three more tips exactly like the one today that are going to be locked down over at Patreon. So come join us there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Taylor Jackson, and I'm going to go get some Dairy Queen. Any score,